Hey, hey, hey! It's the Pacific Northwest Geek Pickle! Zero here! Cha -cha 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 -cha. Back with another ITN review. And ladies and gentlemen, balls and ghouls, I hope you've been brushing your teeth. Because the Tooth Fairy is back. That's right. I am reviewing the 2020 movie Tooth Fairy 2 Root of Evil, also simply known as Tooth Fairy Root of Evil, which of course is a sequel to the 2019 movie Tooth Fairy, also known as Tooth Fairy. She comes to collect. Now on Tubi it says it's to take place 15 years after the events of the first movie. And actually, if you watch the movie, it takes place 20 years later. Corey, the boy from the first movie, is now grown up. Apparently he's been doing animation for different, like, kitty things and stuff, artwork. But is suffering from some serious-ass PTSD. Because he is having these memory flashbacks of what happened 20 years earlier. And he's hearing voices. He's all... Fucked up in the head like there's no tomorrow. Insane in the moonlight. Insane in the rain. Anyways, he's invited to go to this weekend gathering of some other friends because, and he, he agrees to go because the girl he wants to bow to, wow, wow, is there. However, one of the other people attending is this guy named Paul. Paul hates Corey. But see, Paul is the cousin of one of Tooth's. Oh, victims. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, at the beginning of the movie, you do see that there is a way to summon Tooth. Sorry about that. Anyways, Paul hates Corey. He kind of feels that there's something that's not being talked to. They're not being given the full information of what happened 20 years earlier. and doesn't like the fact that of all of, that his cousin died, what Corey and his uh, family survived. Though we do find out his mother went... Cuckoo, and then went to an insane asylum, and then the, his dad, because his stepdad went, apparently. And so they get these, they, and he wants to, he wants to get at Corey, and they eventually get this book uh, of spells and incarnations, and the plan is to uh, summon, or read the incarnation that would summon Tooth, which they don't think it's a real book, and also at the same time have a friend dress up as Tooth, they basically scare the crap out of Corey, so that Paul can have some alone time with him, and you know, uh, it's, it's all the crap. My knuckles with the rings on. And everything's, you know, going okay, except for the fact that Paul, he's, uh, not Paul, but Corey, he, he's, he, Paul's an asshole. He's always giving, um, Corey the whole time the dirty eye. And Corey is just having, he's having his moments, including a moment where he's seen out in the field by some of the girls talking to himself and seemingly having a breakdown. There was even a scene where he's having a hallucination and he's hearing Tooth's voice, because he keeps hearing Tooth's voice. And in the scene, he t he has hallucinates taking plyos and... And is screaming, <laughs> Well, they go with the prank and stuff. And Paul gets his alone time. However, yeah, the incarnation works. And Tooth is summoned. Um, and Tooth basically picks up where she had left off 20 years earlier, as she starts to kill Corey's friends, and, you know, spoiler, yeah, he gets Paul, Paul's an asshole, so he's the one death, you're like, yes, the motherfucker got it. There's a few other people who are like, they refuse to believe in the Tooth Fairy, and they want to point the finger at Corey. Um, much like the first movie, this has, um... An atmosphere to it, the way it, it, it's the, the the shot, the music, the setting, it really is right there, right there. Um, we see that Tooth still does a lot of the same stuff she did before. She uses plyos and she still uses hammer time. Oh, oh, give me those teeth. Oh, oh, hammer time. Give me those teeth. So if that hasn't changed, we get to hear her speak more, which we didn't really get to see that. Um, Unless she was posing as somebody, disguising as somebody, she still has the shape-changing abilities. 
But unless she was doing that, she never really talked. But here she talks a little bit more, and she's I tell people like she tells um one of the guys, you know, that he should let him live if he gives her an offering, hands of some pliers, and he should tell him another more, and then tell him you can give me more after I take them all. I don't like the tattoos. But I'll take the teeth. And and I think and Paul that's the, that's the voice we, we first hear that voice with um with Corey because he's he's hearing her like you know make an offering collect for me give them collect for me um watching Corey Corey's just like everyone's one around like you know when when Tooth shows up so I'm like like oh my oh my God it, it's Corey it's Corey it's Corey all because they saw because Corey's been having these he's having these he's having a basically a mental breakdown it's the PTSD is is reaching its peak, and then they saw him in the field having a moment. Um, so again, it, it's, it's got the atmosphere and stuff. Uh, the Indian I did like. Um, I also learned that there is five of those movies, not four. I get the hunt down the fifth movie, which all I know is is called Tooth Fairy 5. Um, Tooth has the same look she had in the first movie. I'd hope, I mean, the cover, like, you see the, the cover art for this, I like that look. Um, and not, it's a better look than what she has in the movie, which, once again, is a cheap Halloween mask type look. Um, this is 2020. You just got to figure that a little bit better. Um, I liked how they brought Corey back. And I kind of can tell you what happened to his mom, and it, it said stepdad, but I could have swore it was his adopted mother and his biological father, which was kind of hinted out in the first movie. Um, watching Paul have his, uh, seeing that Paul's suffering all this trauma, you know, 20 years later, I think was, you know, interesting. We also see that Tooth Race, that Tooth still likes to put up candy canes and all that shit. Um, we don't get a toothbrush kill like we did in the previous movie. Now you can also tell a little bit when, when Tooth is copying somebody, because besides acting stiff, they put a little, like, makeup around the eye, and they have, like, this. Yes. Go outside. Collect booze. Kind of, like, you know, creepy-like. I would highly suggest watching this movie. Um, I'm having fun watching these, and they're really telling me. I really need to brush my teeth maybe 12 times a day, once an hour. <laughs> Wake up at nighttime, once an hour. So 25 times a day, once an hour. <laughs> Keep this tooth fairy away from me. Anyways, I gotta go and hunt down tooth fairy 5. So, I am Echo Snero, reminding you to brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. I know this isn't my toothbrush. I, uh. Uh oh. I think I jacked someone's toothbrush. Oh shit, the tooth fairy is gonna come for them. <laughs> See you on the flip side. Toodaloo. <laughs> and don't forget the floss.